The people of Fodlan relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike, but each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. We somehow managed to escape. This is one of the Imperial Army's provisional camps. Here we can organize our forces. Before we go any further, I want all of you to really ask yourselves if you're certain you wish to join us. As expected, Flane has chosen to leave our ranks. When I saw our professor running off, I ran about as fast as I could to catch up. Caspar, death finds those who run without thinking. You gave no thought to the war fog. My grandfather was the leader of Bridget, and I hope for us to be allies with the Empire. I will be staying. Was this a good idea? Did I make the right choice? Oh, but my family is part of the Empire, and our professor is here. You're fine here with us, Bernie. Though it's true certain houses were against the Imperial Princess. I assume you're referring to my family. I must believe that the conclusion I came to was the correct one. You are the Emperor now. I am the only one left who is qualified to guide you at this point. I'm only here because I know it would be troublesome to stand against you. I'm not just here for you, Aidy. I'm here to follow our dear professor. Of course, I don't have any territory to offer, so Hubie may not even want me here. The greater our numbers, the better. Your reasons for being here are of no consequence. I think I understand where you're coming from. But now, I wish to hear of your resolve. Like you, I have risen to meet my destiny. I cut this path, and I will see it through to the end. Following me is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. One misstep, and we fall to our ruin. You have now witnessed the Archbishop's true self. She is a cruel beast. Those who rule this world use that beast's power to fabricate miracles. All to control those who blindly believe in the goddess. They conceal the truth and force their lies on the nobility. They mercilessly annihilate anyone who defies them. I know this because I have lived it. After what you have seen, is there any room for doubt? The Church of Seros has great influence and power. Their control over the Lords of the Kingdom and the Alliance is nearly absolute. We are the only ones who can stop this indomitable enemy that has plagued our world for ages. We fight for humanity, for all of Bodlin. If you dare walk this path with me, take your first step. It's now or never. Thank you, my friends. We are the true face of the Empire, and we will triumph! That was incredible, Lady Edelgard. Thank you. Honestly, I'm relieved. They really chose to follow me. I was resolved to move forward alone if I had to. But in my heart, I hoped it wouldn't come to that. So long as I am here, you will never be alone. Please do not forget that. And it would seem that the Professor also has a key role to play in this. You're right. Now, I must speak with our dear teacher. Please, make preparations. The messenger should be here shortly. Consider it done. Professor, may I speak with you? I appreciate it. I... <sighs> I'm just... anxious. It feels like the weight of this burden is crushing me. At this very moment, on my orders, I'm starting a war. An army far larger than the one that attacked the Holy Tomb last month will soon be locked in battle. Long-devised strategies are unfolding across Fodlan. Leaders are deciding their loyalties and preparing to fight. So many generals and soldiers will die. It's inevitable that civilians will get caught up in the chaos as well. 
there will be countless casualties. With a single command, the flames of war will rage across all corners of this realm. And I am the one who is giving the order. Yes, it is. There is no turning back. No matter how much blood flows at my feet, I will not relent. We must break the bonds that the depraved church has placed on Fodlan. These sacrifices will allow us to create a future where we never need sacrifice again. It may seem contradictory, but it's the only way. <laughs> Listen to me. I made up my mind long ago, yet here I am, seeking your approval. Tell me the truth, my teacher. Are you happy with your decision to stay by my side? Unlike me, you can still walk away from all of this. This path leads to the death of the Archbishop and the servants of the Church. Can you live with that? I never thought... I'm sorry, it was a foolish question. I believe in you, Professor. And you believed in me. With that knowledge, I have the strength to keep fighting. Let's go. There's something I need to say to Hubert. Your Majesty, the latest report indicates that our main army is advancing as planned. Also, the preparations for your manifesto are almost complete. We will be distributing our manifesto to every lord within Fodlan. We will expose the dark side of the Church of Seros, and the foul practices of the nobles from the Kingdom and the Alliance. We will force the people of Fodlan to open their eyes to the truth and relinquish any remaining conviction to unite against the Empire. Certain nobles have already offered us their support. Yes, there are other nobles who oppose the Church. We will condemn those who deserve condemnation and forgive those who deserve forgiveness. We have already purged some of the Imperial nobles who are morally rotten. My father among them. Fortunate. And soon we will invade and conquer Garrick Mach. Our main army has already departed the Imperial capital. They will arrive at the monastery in two weeks' time. There we will join forces with them. As for us, I'd like your opinion on how we should be positioned within the army. Your Majesty intends to fight alongside the Professor, correct? In that case, you will not be incorporated into the Empire's main army. Your squad can move freely about the battlefield under supervision of the Imperial forces. That would be most prudent. Now that I'm the Emperor, we can't let it slip that I'm following your command in battle, Professor. I fully object to the notion of you fighting on the front lines. Hubert, we've already discussed this. My apologies. I overstepped. Now that the details are settled, all that's left is to come up with a name for ourselves. In honor of our time at the Academy, how about we call ourselves the Black Eagle Strike Force? With you as our leader, I'm confident we will. To me, that name represents us soaring toward a new dawn as freely as an eagle. I'll leave it to you to prepare the Black Eagle Strike Force for departure. Join forces with the main army and attack Garrick Mach. It's a fortress built on steep ground, but it's never seen battle. That means we don't know much about it from a military perspective. If we use all of the power at our disposal, we will capture it. From a purely mathematical standpoint, we most certainly have the power to win. If the battle becomes a clash of beasts within human strength, you will be our only hope. I believe in you. I'm relying on you to lead the Black Eagle Strike Force to victory.
Thank you for this. A lost item. 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 Did you know this was mine? A lost item. I... I knew nothing of Lady Edelgard's past, or of her innermost feelings. But I know now. I persuaded her to tell all. It would have been rude to hound her relentlessly until she revealed herself. Yes? Then that's certainly not what I did! <laughs> It is not up to Her Majesty to bring the students to our cause. That task falls to you. Those who have forsaken their homelands to join the Empire will be feeling vulnerable. You are uniquely able to provide emotional support. Please use that gift to guide others down the path that Lady Edelgard has laid before us. I ask you to do this from the bottom of my heart. that I'm here, are you? I know a winning side when I see it. I mean, there's no way I'd risk my neck and my people by willfully joining a losing battle. You'd better hope I did. Otherwise, we're both dead. Regardless of who comes after us, even if it's the Knights, we've got you on our side, so it'll all be fine. Thanks. I'll take... Thanks. 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 Interesting. The most important nobles in the Empire are known for taking power from the previous Emperor, my father included. I didn't think it possible that the Imperial Princess could ascend the throne so easily. However, it seems that both my father and Kaspar's are supporting Edelgard. Having both the Minister of Domestic Affairs and Minister of Military Affairs on your side gives you total control over the Empire's military and finances. You must have been making preparations for quite some time without anyone noticing. Hey. Edelgard became Emperor and raised an army, huh? I knew the kid had it in her. I mean, yeah, of course, I knew she'd be Emperor eventually, but the more I think about it, the more surprised I am. I wonder who's gonna win. Thinking about it makes me scared. We're fighting the Knights of Saros. Still, I know you'll figure something out. Hey there. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. All right. Ah, yes. I believe that this is the first time we have met. My name is Ladislava. I have the great honor of leading Lady Edelgard's personal guard. Her Majesty is as hard on others as she is on herself. She may seem composed, but that is only because she conceals her more passionate emotions. For that reason, she is often misunderstood. But now she has you by her side. I find that most reassuring. I look forward to working with you. I'm Randolph von Burglis. I'm not very high in the ranks yet, but I'm more or less a general. Just like Kaspar, I'm from House Burglis. My mother married into House Burglis after I was born, so my position within the family is rather lowly. 
But I'm determined to make something of myself in this battle to bring glory to my part of the family, for the sake of my mother and sister. Hmm. Okay. I've decided to ally myself with Lady Edelgard. Father will doubtless understand my reasoning. House Gloucester has always had good intentions in its dealings with the Empire. Of course, this does mean I will no longer be able to avoid a confrontation with Claude. It is unfortunate. We were classmates, after all. I've gone and done it now, huh? What would my old man say if he knew I'd sided with the Empire? His Highness must be angry. Dimitri gets super scary when he's like that. I wonder how I'm going to die. Ugh, my knees turn to jelly just thinking about it. No, I, I can't think that way. I promise to fight alongside you. I'm here until the end. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm terrified. His Highness, I wonder... No. <laughs> um... What do you require? Farewell. We will soon arrive at Garrig Mock Monastery. Forcing a surrender here is extremely significant, both strategically and symbolically. Of course, this is personal as well. This is where we all came together to learn and grow. I have no intention of yielding to our former classmates, so I ask that you prepare yourselves for anything. I'm not thinking about friends right now, and I'm certainly not prepared. Damn it, don't go around saying things that lower morale before we even get started. I'm ready, let's go! I have nothing to lose aside from my friends who are here with me. Does that answer satisfy you? I have been ready for this since leaving my land of home. I will fight and win. How can you prepare to fight? There is no reason that I should not be prepared. It is my duty to stand up and battle. Thank you all. Now. Let's talk strategy. As the raiding force, we will attack the area nearest to the monastery. The Knights of Saros certainly won't stand down after they catch sight of Her Majesty and the Professor. At the same time, the remaining areas will be surrounded and annihilated by the main army. In other words, we are the decoy that must suppress the enemy's most elite soldiers. We know more about the area near the monastery than anyone else in the Imperial Army. Still, we must prepare for the worst. It's possible we will have to face the Archbishop's true form, the Immaculate One. 
fight with all you have, but don't be reckless. As promised, I will leave the command to our professor. Naturally, with both Her Majesty and yourself on our side, defeat is impossible. I wish you could this just will shut be our first mid. battle yeah, of the Black Eagle Strike Force. All the more reason to prevail. best to use this strength.
Friends, our opportunity for victory will come. But first, we must see to our defenses. The city's defenders are trying to stall for time. We must...